Hey everyone, this is Dr. Amy Denick, CoreFlex Wellness and Chiropractic, and in this video I'm going to be talking about transcutaneous vagal nerve stimulation. What does that mean? So what that means is that um, there are two branches of the autonomic nervous system that basically govern your survival, and one is parasympathetic, that's the rest and digest, and that's where you recover, that's where you're sort of, um, you can digest your foods really well and you can regenerate old, you know, dying tissue and make new mitochondria and recover your energy. And then there's the sympathetic nervous system, which is a zone that we typically stay in more than we should. Um, this is to basically survive and this is to escape and manage our daily lives that we create and have way too much on our plate. So this is a great passive technique that will improve parasympathetic tone. It um, has been shown to decrease inflammation. It helps you sleep amazingly. That's the biggest takeaway I've taken from it. And it's also, um, it just helps to bring back in, you know, muscle repair and recovery. So my athletics have, have really improved. Um, so let's go over it. So basically all you need is a TENS unit. Um, I like this, this version because it's programmable. Um, it's the 10, 7,000, it's $45 on Amazon. Um, and the unit looks like this. This is the typical unit that people would use for back pain. It comes with these little pads. They stick them on, turn it on, the pain goes away for the most part. So we can use this for transcutaneous vagal nerve stimulation. The only other thing that you need is a ear clip electrode. <clears throat> these are extra and you can get these on Amazon too. They're about $6 a piece. So overall you're spending $50 to uh, improve your life and quality of life. So what you basically do is you take the red cord. So when this thing is plugged in, it branches out into two basically ends. You have a black cord and a red cord. The red cord goes to the electrode. The black cord goes to the little pad. You put the little pad on the meaty part of your shoulder, on your trap, on the left side. Then you take this ear clip electrode, and on the left part of the ear, you're going to stick it into this kind of spot right here. Um, this spot's super important. If you can't make it into this little spot here, then you can go to this part called the tragus. Um, the reason this spot's the best, if you can get it and it's somewhat comfortable, it does kind of um, has a little bit of discomfort sometimes until you can get it just perfectly right, um, is that it's the closest to the trigeminal nerve, um, which innervates the vagal nerve. The vagal nerve goes down the neck to the gut, other organs um, to relax you. So basically what <clears throat> I found is you can put this little, this little pad right in that spot. So there it is for me and it's all set up. It's right there. Then there's some settings on here. <clears throat> so when you open this little door here, um, this guy turns on and don't turn it on high because you're plugged in. Um, but basically, see if you can see, so there's certain zone, there's certain modes. <clears throat> you wanna be in a normal mode. The pulse width, you want to have it 200 milliseconds. And then there's a pulse frequency. Pulse frequency is what is mostly gonna be adjusted. Um, pulse frequency is going to be different. You kind of want to adjust it, sort of vary it up a little bit. You don't want to let your brain adapt to just say 30 uh, hertz consistently. Some people find it that if they just do 30 consistently, their brain adapts to it and it's not as effective. So you want to change it up. So maybe start with 10 one week, 15 the next week, 20 the next week, 25. Then week four, you want to maybe go back down to 15. Um, it doesn't really necessarily have to be perfectly set in stone, but you just kind of want to kind of change it up to prevent adaptation. So <clears throat> when you start this, so let's say I'm set at 16 hertz, um, and then I'm at 200, um, I'm at 200 milliseconds, and I'm going to set this for 19 minutes. Um, you don't want to do it longer than 20 minutes. You want to be sort of in a calm state. You don't want to be agitated. You don't want to be after finishing an argument or a bad phone call. Make sure that you're in a good space. Um, and then you're gonna turn this dial up just enough to where you start to feel, <clears throat> you start to feel a little twinge sensation in your ear. You won't feel it in your shoulder, but as I start to go up, 
just now starting to feel it. So it's like a little kind of a needle in that spot. Once you feel that, you barely feel the sensation, then you turn it down to, until you just barely don't feel it. And you wanna leave it there. Close the lid, sit back and relax. The good thing about this thing, it's either a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, partner, whatever, you get an extra plug, you plug it in, you do it together. It's great. Um, no more than 20 minutes a day, changing that pulse frequency, keeping the pulse width the same. And um, it's just a great way to bring in parasympathetic tone, to rest, to heal, to sleep, to recover. Um, and uh, so that's it. So um, let us know if you have any questions. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a great thing to do to improve your overall well-being and health. And again, Dr. Amy, and uh, thanks for listening.